back on my channel again. Next segment of my 3,000 subscriber special for Great Buy 789. Around the world, Zoology, Midnight Madness, John Wayne, H2O, and Choose Weapon. Midnight Madness for 100. Studying too late at night burns this up. What is midnight oil? Midnight Madness 200. It is a traditional late night service held on Christmas Eve. What is Midnight Mass? Yep. I've been to a few myself. Midnight Madness 300. The time when Poe pondered weak and weary. A midnight in, oh no, a midnight dreary. Choose weapon 100. The pen is mightier than this. What is the sword? Yes. Let's do uh, Midnight Madness for 400. The 1969 Best Picture showed the seamy side of New York life. Midnight... Midnight in Paris? No, it's Midnight Cowboy. To be perfectly honest, I don't know why I was thinking Midnight in Paris. H2O 100. A sloshy sleeping experience. What is a waterbed? I've slept on one. My grandma Reina has one. My grandma Reina has one. Or used to have one. Midnight Madness for 500. This early TV hero recruited viewers into a secret squadron. <clears throat> oh, Captain Midnight. John Wayne 100. His noble sounding nickname. The Duke. Choose weapon for 300. An explosive military device or in football a long forward pass. A bomb. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Around the world for 200 And there's the Daily Double. $280 is what he's risking. The states on the eastern coast are Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland, and I knew that one it was Australia. Chad Reed would definitely know this. Around the world for 100 Of the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer, the one north of the equator. I'm going to say the Tropic of Capricorn. Oh no. Well that narrows it down. Yep, it's Tropic of Cancer. <clears throat> Around the world for 400. The Kalahari Desert is on this continent. Africa. Around the world for 300. This canal stretches from Colon to Balboa.
What is the Suez Canal? No. <clears throat> I had a choice between the Suez and the Panama. And I went with the Suez and it was the wrong one. Yep, it's the Panama Canal. Around the world for 500. Jules Verne here, who went around the world in 80 days to win a bet. Who is Phileas Fogg? I haven't read this book, but I know it for sure. Yep. Zoology for a hundred. This Australian marsupial's young are called joeys. It's a kangaroo. I better get this. Yep. I only trail Keith by twenty bucks. Zoology two hundred. Dogs have this type of teeth, but rats and mice do not. Canine teeth. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Around Zoology 300. This burrower has, an, has armor of bony plates covered with horn. Oh gosh. It's definitely not a mole. Armadillo, yeah. Zoology 400. Groups of the small Arctic rodent periodically demise, periodically rush to their demise at sea. Lemmings. Choose weapon for 200. A big gun. A big bottle of champagne or a big hit on CBS. Magnum. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That's Magnum PI. So I'll ask you for 500. Marco Polo believed this large mammal to be the legendary unicorn. The camel? No, it's the rhinoceros. To be perfectly honest, I don't know why I thought a camel. A throw of 200. Aquatic game with two teams of seven swimmers and an inflated ball. What is uh, water polo? Yes. Um, a throw for three. Where McCord, Hunt, Liddy, Barker, Martinez, Sturgis, and Gonzalez got nabbed. Oh, Watergate. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, choose weapon for 400. Once used in battle, these light spears are now tossed in an Olympic event. What are... What are, uh, what are javelins? Choose weapon for five. This long single edged knife is named after a pioneer who fought at the Alamo. Oh boy. Well, that doesn't help much. Oh, oh. What is a Bowie knife? Yes. Uh, H2O for four. A design on stationary visible when held to the light. Watermark. H2O for 500. His campaign button read AUH2O. 
Oh. I got it. Barry Goldwater. It was Barry Goldwater. John Wayne for 500. In the 1955 film The Conqueror, he was miscast as this Asian warrior. Oh, Genghis Khan. 400. His real name. Probably Mario something, but either way, I am not doing it. Oh, Marion Morrison. 300. The sport which won him a scholarship to USC in 1925. What is football? Yes. And last one. Last one for 200. He won an Oscar playing over an over the hill marshal in this 1969 film. No idea. I don't know anything about John Wayne. That might be tough, tough something. Well, that doesn't help either. Keith's down at 20 bucks. But I won't do it. I'm not going to ring in. Well, true grit. At the end of the Jeopardy round, I have 2600 Joan has $100. Keith, 20 bucks. World Wars, trees, women and women and sports, writer starts to see and been warned. Women's sports of 400. In Dallas, they are cowgirls. In Anaheim, embraceable use. Uh, who are the cheerleaders? Yep. I'll take women and sports for two. Like her late singer husband, she now hosts her own golf tournament. Oh, Catherine Crosby. Oh, yeah, Bing Crosby, yeah. Women of Sports for six. The theme from The Young and the Restless was renamed for this Olympic gymnast. That doesn't help. Nadia Komanich. Starts at C for 200. Oh, daily double. Uh, 2000. Sonny and Cher named their daughter after this virtue. Was Jesus Christ? No. Chastity. Oh, chastity. C for 400. This chest term is Persian for the king is dead. Oh, what is checkmate? for 600. 
In Spanish, it's cucaracha. Oh, there's a cockroach. Uh, start to see for eight. In mystery books, it has the telltale odor of bitter almonds. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is cyanide? I bet. I hope. It's cyanide. C for a thousand. From the Latin, literally, a horn of plenty. Cornucopia. Oh, yeah. So Keith's up to a thousand twenty. Women's sports for eight hundred. Pioneer woman jockey married to Fred Astaire. I don't think it's Ginger Rogers. Nope, it's Robin Smith. Been worn. You've been worn for 200. And there's the other Daily Double. 280 again. Watch books worn and do this before striking. And Keith doesn't know again. Close cover. You've been worn for 400. He was told to beware the Ides of March. Crap, it was what I thought it was Julius Caesar. Been worn for 800. A Soviet holiday or a call of distress. <laughs> he gave it to me already. What is Mayday? And of course, what we call in Hawaii on May, on the first official Monday of May. Yep. May Day is Lay, lay Day in Hawaii. Been worn for six. Congreve wrote that hell has no fury like this. A woman scorned. You've been worn for a thousand. Charlton Heston fought a terrorist in the L.A. Coliseum in this film. Two minute warning. Something I know nothing about. Writers for 200. He wrote Lady Winders Windermere's Fan and the Importance of Being Earnest. Oscar Wilde, yeah. World Wars for 200. Slang name for American foot American foot soldiers in Europe during World War One. Oh, Doughboys. World Wars for 400. This British marshal was second in command to Hitler. Goring. Women is force a thousand. Shirley Muldowney went to the top of this male dominated sport. Oh, drag racing. Writers for 400. His novels include The Collector and The French Lieutenant's Woman. Oh, John Fowler. Fowles. John Fowles. Writers for 600. Best known for the decline and fall of the Roman Empire.
I want to say Edward Lear, but I don't know if it's right. Edward Gibbon. And then again, Edward Lear is a poet. Writers for Thousand. Her recent bestsellers are Salvador and Democracy. That doesn't help. Joan Didion. Trees for 200. A branch from it, from it is a symbol, of, traditional symbol of peace. What is the olive tree? Yep. Uh, writers for 800. He created private detective Philip Marlowe. Chandler. Let's take uh, trees for 400. Longfellow's village smithy stood under its spreading branches. Chestnut? Oh, darn it, I should have done it. I should have tried it. World Wars for 800. The Turkish site of the February 1945 meeting of FDR, Churchill, and Stalin. Yalta. World Wars for 600. The Japanese lost their Pacific advantage after the battle for this island. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, Midway. World War's 1000. Germany ceded West Persia to Poland, Alsace-Lorraine to France in this World War I treaty. Treaty of Versailles, right. Treaties for 800. Its berries are used in making gin. Juniper tree. Trees for a thousand. Major League Baseball bats are made from the light wood of these trees. The ash. Doesn't matter for Joan. Tree 600. Tree on which alligator pears are grown. Avocado. The end of the double jeopardy round. I have 3,800. Keith 2140. Joan minus 900. Oh, men of science. 3,200. Ten eighty. You have no winnings and cannot take part in final jeopardy. I'm ready to answer. Best known for astronomical discoveries and early use of the telescope, he invented the thermometer in 1563. Who's Galileo? Yep. 
Yep. Yep, 3,200. Taking me to 7,000. 1080 for Keith. Takes him to 3,220. And I win $7,000 for Frank. And that's going to do. And I'll see you guys for the next, uh, for the next segment.